ब्रेड एंड बटर आर माई रेगुलर ब्रेकफास्ट इधर रिया और हर मदर गो टू द मार्केट नो देन वॉट आर द करेक्ट यूज एज सब्जेक्ट वर्ब एग्रीमेंट इज वन ऑफ द हॉट टॉपिक्स इन इंग्लिश ग्रामर एंड इज ऑफन आस्ट इन वेरियस कम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स लेट्स नो सम ऑफ द रूल्स टू डे बिकॉज यू विल नीड इट इन योर रेगुलर कॉन्वर्सेशन एज वेल एज फॉर योर एग्जाम्स Rule number one: A singular subject should take a singular verb, and a plural subject should take a plural verb. Let's learn the examples. Ria is having her lunch. Ria here is a singular subject. Is having is a singular verb. On the other hand, the children are playing in the garden. Children is a plural subject. Are playing plural verb. Rule number two. A compound subject that refers to one person or thing should always take a singular verb. For example, bread and butter is my regular breakfast. Bow and arrow is his favorite weapon. Here bread and butter is a compound subject but it means one dish. Bow and arrow is a compound subject this means one weapon. So it should always take a singular verb. Rule number 3 A compound subject joined by the conjunction and should always take a plural verb For example Ram and Riya work in the same office Ram and Riya compound subject joined by and and is taking a plural verb work The children and their mother are going to the market Children and their mother compound subject joined by and and is taking the plural verb are rule number 4 a compound subject joined by conjunctions like either or neither nor or should take the verb that is nearer to the second subject for example either the teachers or the principal is to lead the group see the teachers here is a plural subject but the principal is a singular subject but the verb is nearer to the singular subject principal so the verb should be singular either the teachers or the principal is to lead the group next example either maya or her children work in this project either maya or her children so the verb work is plural here because it is nearer to the plural subject children rule number 5 words like anybody nobody nothing somebody should always take a singular subject for example everyone in the class is present today everyone and the verb is is each of the books is important each of the books is important each is a singular subject i hope these rules are clear to you now and you will not make mistakes in using these if you want more such videos then let me know in the comment section also subscribe to the channel for more such videos